X-Wing is ready for some more space blasting fun with today's game, Gradius, for the NES. Let's go ahead and take Gradius. Let's pop it in my NES and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Gradius was the first game published by Konami and was released in December of 1986. It is based on their 1985 arcade game, which was also known as Nemesis outside of Japan. It was also the first game to use the Konami code, which when used while the game is paused can give some power-ups, although using the code is limited. The manual opens with the following. The story. The planet Gradius, a peaceful Earth-like world, is now under all-out space attack from their old nemesis, beings from the subspace star cluster of Bacterion. The people of Gradius are in danger of being completely destroyed by the amoeboid Bacterions. To save them, you have just launched the prototype hyperspace fighter, the Warp Rattler. The entire galaxy awaits your duel to the death with the evil Bacterions. Your objective is the Bacterian Super Fortress, Zarius. To reach this, you must steal the enemy power capsules along your route and boost the Warp Rattler's hyper powers. You are the last hope for the gentle people of Gradius. You will need all your courage and concentration to win. Get ready to blast off. Gradius is a horizontal scrolling space shooter for one or two players alternating with one mode of difficulty. For the controls, you use the D-pad to move your ship, A to fire at a slow auto-fire pace, and B to activate a highlighted power-up at the bottom of the screen. The power-ups going from left to right include a speed-up to increase your speed, which you could do multiple times, missiles, which drop missiles down at an angle, double, which shoots an extra bullet towards the top, powerful lasers, which can replace your normal shot, options, which gives you a satellite that can also fire, you can have up to two of these, and the question mark, which gives you forward shields that when they turn red, only have one hit of protection left. Getting orange energy pods highlights a power up, moving to the right each time another is earned, and can wrap around if you get enough. Pressing B activates the highlighted power up and starts the process over. You cannot have double and laser at the same time, and you can't manually move the highlighted power up. So if you wanted to speed up, but the highlight already passed by, you either have to wait for it to wrap around or use another power up and try to get another energy pod. Energy pods sometimes show up by blasting away groups of enemies or shooting orange enemies. Blue pods are rare and activate a smart bomb. If you die, you lose all of your power ups. In total, there are seven levels. Most feature an enemy or obstacle rush near the end, followed by a boss fight with the same boss that can only be attacked successfully when a center turns blue. The final two stages, however, have different bosses. If you defeat the final boss, you are told congratulations and you're sent back to the first level to increase your score. Graphically speaking, this is a sound looking early shooter for the NES. And as is the case with many Konami games, the music and sounds are very well done. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if released today. Currently at PriceCharting.com, the game has a value of $12 loose, $85 complete, and $236 new. So what do I think of Gradius on the NES? It's both fun and frustrating. This is one of those games that is enjoyable while you're powered up, but as soon as you die and lose your power ups, you can be in a world of hurt. And for someone like me, who's not the greatest at shooters, that can lead to frustration. Personally, after a lot of practice, I finally made it to the third level where I quickly hit my ceiling and reached a point where I really didn't want to play it much anymore, even with using the Konami code. Don't get me wrong, it controls well, it looks good, sounds great, but I just ended up frustrated at the end. I also wish there was more variety in the boss fights, but being an early shooter, I won't hold too much against them. So if you like tough NES shooters, this is a must play, but if tough shooters aren't your thing, it might only be worth a play or two. So where am I going to rank Gradius? It's going somewhere in the 40s. I do like Star Wars more at 40, but I will give this a slight edge over Star Force at 41, another shooter that was a little too difficult for my tastes. So out of the 63 games now ranked for the NES, Gradius is debuting at the 41 position. Gradius is a well-made tough shooter, but a little too tough for my personal tastes. That's just what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Support the show at patreon.com slash gamer and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and try not to die while powered up.